After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Every time when I come into jail, it's always a, a different frame of mind. You have to switch from being like you are at home into being an officer and being into the way that you need to act while you're in jail. You have to deal with criminal mind. When I come in here and I kind of look around and I see what's going on, I get into that frame of mind and get into ready to be able to operate as an officer and to do whatever I need to do with the people that I'm going to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Like she's being disruptive, walking down the hallway, just screaming obscenities. Put your knees on the bench. So that she can't be disruptive anymore to anybody else in the facility. So we're gonna put her into the cell. But they're removing her jewelry, and she doesn't want them to remove her ring. Stay there until you hear the door shut, ma'am. I'm allowed to have a phone call. There's a phone right next to you. Okay, oh, yeah, what are you gonna do? Slam my head against the wall. Do it! It's not fair! Hopefully she'll sober up and settle down. You're gonna end up upstairs naked. You're not gonna have access to any telephone. You're gonna be by yourself in a room. Work. They do work. I didn't do anything wrong. Got arrested for domestic violence. Nothing. Nothing. What did I do? Nothing. You got in a fight. Listen, listen. Shh. You got in a fight with your aunt. Okay. Can you leave her down here? I swear to God. A few more minutes. If she doesn't calm down, we'll take her upstairs. Nothing! I hurt anybody! So what did you use to cook in your spoon? Coke. Coke? That's not yours? I can be kidding. It's my wife. It's my wife put it in my purse. Why? Why? That's my wife. You're Hello. Yes. She's married. Yeah. Legally or just? We got married in Hawaii. Did it? Yeah. What island? Uh, uh, Main island. Uh, Main. Oahu. Whatever. I don't know my wife. No. On a little island. Is she Hawaiian? No, my wife's Cuban. <laughs> Wrong island. Wrong island. Third Big row one. last year. Third row. We just brought her in for soliciting prostitution. The oh, Murrah guys got her undercover. And that was all that. Did you see the little spoon in there? She was cooking. Oh yeah, one? absolutely. She claims she's, she claims she's been off for a week now. She's very proud of herself. Oh wow, she's been sober for a week. Off. Yes, so she's she's all clean according to her. Does your wife know what you're here for? No. And why are you here? Prostitution. For prostitution. How come your wife doesn't know why you're because here? Because she's in the federal penitentiary. And how come she's in the federal penitentiary? Transporting. Transporting from drugs? Flo from Florida to, to here. Oh, because she's Cuban. Yeah. <laughs> so you were, she's Resident. transporting dope for... She was, she was, yeah. So she's in the federal penitentiary, and you're here, and you said that you're supporting... My three-year-old Your three-year-old child. child that you had with her brother. With her brother. It was a... It was a, it was a so you got together long enough to get pregnant? Two minutes of sex, whoopie do. I didn't know what yeah. the straight woman saw in sex with men, so... <laughs> I don't How long have you been married? 13 years. Really? That's a long time. Yeah. She's a bitch, she cut my throat. Holy, you're kidding me. She did that, she did this. Wait, wait, show me that scar again. Where her? I can't, my, my hair's in the way. Oh. How, many, how many stitches or staples? 48. Are 48 stitches? How did, why did she, hair. why did she cut your Jealousy. throat? Or? She cut my gallbladder in half. She cut, so she sliced through your abdomen as well. And you're still with this woman? No, 
wife to go. She's in the penitentiary. No, I'm not with her. Well, I know, but those are see, obviously more than six so months old. The way, the way, the way I was brought up is supposed to stick with the person no matter what. And she's cute. Come on over here. That's amazing. We'll talk more. Oh, she's got a very interesting life. She was given the opportunity to calm down, and she continually bangs on the door, and she was banging on the phone again. So now she's going to be placed into this restraint chair. That funny is Come on over here, ma'am. Come on over here, ma'am. Come on. You're going to have a seat in this chair. Nice black chair right here, OK? Please. Have a seat. Don't make it, OK? We're not, Why does it give you a phone that does not work? It just works for me. Why does it work? Because if you bang it off the wall, it tends not to work very well. I need the phone on the wall. I don't know. I did nothing wrong with that. Make somebody bad. Not fair. Call my aunt. Please, just call my aunt. So Richard's still going to talk to her, see if she's going to cooperate and come out. Please let me call my aunt. What's she pissed off about? She's in here for better domestic violence, but she says she didn't do anything wrong. Please. Are you going to calm down so we can take you out of that chair, or are we going to have to leave you there? Give me a drink and say that. No, I'll come back. No bargain. So they're going to leave her in the chair now because she got uh, disruptive again once they talked right to her now, about the clothes. she's still not cooperative, so we're going to, we only have two female officers up here right now, so we're going to wait, let her calm down a little bit, wait till we have at least one more female so we can control her better if she does resist us when she comes out of the chair. Sounds good. Hopefully sitting there in the while from the chair, she'll uh, calm down and be more cooperative later. So how much do you make a night? It depends. Some weekends they can make a couple thousand. Some weekends I can make a couple, a couple hundred. It depends. So. Here's a copy of your charges. Oh, you're so good to me. Thank you. <laughs> it's only two. See, no one, no one, no one what is it? What did they put on there? Prostitution. So let's do prostitution. Two hundred dollar bill. Excellent. And you're gonna get out for free. So look oh wow, here. I got two hundred dollars. I could call like, oh, my babysitter. Uh, I haven't seen back over there. Where you were? She's been in here probably at least fifty times for the same thing. Pre-trial is going to let her out. She's going to let her out on her OR, and she's going to get out of jail tonight. And she's going to go right back to doing what she was doing before. She just said it. She usually makes more money when she first gets out of jail. So she'll continue to come in and in and out of this jail for probably another 50 times or more. Intake is a pivotal position in terms of security because we cannot be laxed in this position. Anything can hurt. We have had escapes. We have had uh, assaults, both on staff and on inmate. You just never know what's going to come down in here. She's refusing to come out of the car. This one slipped her cuff. Okay, I'm going to say something to you. And I want you to hear very, very, very calm. Okay, very calm. Ahead, you need I to calm down. You I'm really do. You really do. You, you, I'll take her down. You handcuff. If she's going to kick, I'm going to spray. Okay. If you kick, you're going to get some mace in your eyes. Get her straight. Head, right. head straight now. down. Right. I want straight down. 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 Get her 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 down. Roll her down. I have to down. Roll her down. Stop resisting, ma'am. Slow, 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 slow. We got it now. Slow Stop it down. Everybody good? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. You all pick her up. Side by side. Just pick her up. We got it. We're going to take her in. Go. Go.
was bringing in a combative female and apparently right. she was uh, celebrating her birthday oh, okay. and she was picked up uh, when we got out there it she slipped to the cuffs she was still very uh, disruptive with APD mm -hmm. I tried to calm her down she refused to calm down she's still being disruptive just monitor I know. her highly defiant okay okay all right, all right then to open seating. I'd rather you spend the rest of the time out there. But we have any other displays. We'll get, listen, we have any other displays and you're gonna force me to bring you back into one something like this, okay? So just bide your time, listen for your name, we'll call you, we'll drive on, move you along, okay? Can I have the names of the people who have arrested me? You can have all that, you can have all that in due time. G-O-R-D-O-N. Get your shoes, man. What'd she say? She'll put his clothing. She can't go out there like that. Yeah. I'll share my vagina. Settle down with that, all right? Settle down with that. Go out there and use the restroom, and I'll bring a uniform in a little while. Ma'am. Ma'am. You need to sit down. Okay. All right. You don't have to squeeze. Right? Well, you need to sit down when you're told to sit down. This is jail, not the house. You'll do as directed. Hernandez! Rivera, Rivera. A cual mes nació? Cual mes? Sit down. Okay. So, Scott, what's going on with her now? Um, well, she had come out of open seating uh, a couple times. I know you told her not to. Oh, uh, yeah. So, she didn't seem to want to listen. So, put her back in, uh, in 512. Very good. Uh, okay, thank you. Around. Good work, man. No, thank you. All right. Why are you in here? No, no, because you're being defiant. That's it's one thing. It's one thing to be upset. Okay, it's another thing to be totally defiant and disregard directives. My partner, that's going to replace me. He's the one that's going to let you out of here. All right. Just bide your time. Even have a sit. All right. I'll let him know you've been fine since so you've been back here. But we can't have you doing what you're doing out there. We just go help yourself to the nurse's station or whatever like that, okay? I would rather have her sitting out here with everybody else, but she's just too out of control right now. The intoxication's in her system, which is not letting her be in control of herself. And uh, we're gonna have to deal with her later on because right now she's just too out of control. I've been working down here in booking for about six years now. I really enjoy it down here. There's always something going on which helps you get through the night. Once you go upstairs, it's locked down most of the night, so it gets a little boring. Down here, I stay active. I stay awake all night. Right, put your hands down to your side. Just straight down to your side. Same with the other one. All right, ma'am. Have a seat in this row right here, all the way down at the very end. The nurse is going to call you up in just a minute. What's she in here for? Possession of a stolen motor vehicle. Did she admit to knowing the vehicle was stolen? Yeah, she said she uh, bought the car, $18,000 car. She pays $2,000 for it. And then um, three days ago, a friend comes up to her and tells her, hey, that car's stolen. And, but she never reported it to us that she had bought a stolen car. So and then she ran from us tonight. <laughs> How you doing, Melissa? 
You said you paid two thousand dollars for the car. Yeah. What kind of car was it? Yeah, Acura. You didn't think that was kind of funny? Well, she, she she just got some drug charges. She's planning on skipping town on her bail. I need to sell this car. I need to get out of town. I need the money. So you thought she was just trying to get quick money and that's all it was? Yep. You've been in here before for methamphetamine charges. Are you still doing the methamphetamines? I, I picked it back up again, yeah. How long have you been doing it? Total? Yeah. Probably five or six years. Did you stop for a while, though, you said? Uh, yeah, I've, I've stopped periodically here and there. Six months here, six months there. Why do you start up again? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. After you get fingerprinted, then you'll be able to get on the phone. I don't think so. What is she coming for tonight? How are you doing tonight? I was doing just beautiful till I went home and uh, found my suitcase stolen, all my clothes. Okay. So if you went home and found something stolen, how did you end up in here? Uh, I had a warrant, she said. Oh. She says I got a warrant. Did she tell you what the warrant was for? I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, well, re release your hands. They go on your head. Do you understand? Yeah. All right. No, I don't understand. You don't? Yes, I do, ma'am. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have my ID? Uh, yes, we, we have your ID. Right over here, ma'am. Go ahead and take a seat. First seat. First seat at the end of this row. She called saying that her roommate had kicked her out of the apartment. And uh, she doesn't actually live there. She's homeless. She just lets her stay there every now and then. Suitcase was left out yesterday outside. Nobody's seen it taken. Nobody knows who took it. Nothing like that. She just left it outside and it disappeared. Go figure. What are her warrants for that she's uh, here tonight? Trespassing, defrauding an innkeeper, and another trespassing. Okay. Thank you. Hey. So how many times have you been in here now, Helen? I don't know. Are you counting? No, I'm just curious. You don't remember don't know, me from when you were up in 3EF? Yeah. yeah, maybe uh, a few times. Okay. What are you talking about? I should own the place? No, I was just asking. I don't know. It's none of your business how many times I've been in here. Do you want to know the truth? This joker who I'm living with, my suitcase is gone. Was it your roommate All that took clothes. it or was it somebody else? Huh? Do you think oh. it was your roommate or somebody no, else? they took it. Then his friend said that I stole some money from him, and I didn't, because I stayed there last night. Mm -hmm. No. They stole my clothes. And the officer brought you in when you tried to file a report about your stolen yeah, stuff? I called, yeah, I called, the, I called the police. I want my clothes. All right, I'll see what I can do for that, and yeah. I'll see what your warrants are for you, okay? I'll be back and talk to you in a few minutes. The good thing is they just charged you with the one count of possession of a stolen vehicle. You don't have any warrants or anything like that that you're here for. Do you know what the bail is for that? No, I don't. Okay, your bail's going to be $3,000. Are you going to be able to have somebody bail you out, or are you going to have to wait till you see the judge? Yeah, I'll have somebody. Okay, it'll still take both at least 12 hours to get you released. They can start working on it a lot faster, which helps out. It never really hits them until they start going through this, where they're at, why they're here. Helen. Okay, come on straight down here. We're going to get you a place to lay down for a little bit, okay? Good. You just have one count of defrauding innkeeper and one count of trespass. Okay, right. keep coming down this Maybe way. Maybe my brother if I get along with Okay. My... And you said what? Well, after you get this cleared up? Uh, we're going to be eating in about an hour. You were saying, though, after... After you get done with this and get it cleared up, that you're going to be getting Social Security, so yeah. you won't be coming back yeah. to see us anymore, yeah. right? Oh, hell no. Oh, that's great. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Good luck to you. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thank All right. You. Have a good night.
and the doors open up and they leave me outside and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride now the night hits my face and it brings me to life oh lord now i'm out that jail tonight another night in my street another night in my hair now i'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight i'm gonna go home to my family tonight and the doors open up and they leave me outside i'm gonna go home to my family tonight i've been thinking about my home i've been thinking about my needs i don't want to be